Hello again, glad to see you back. So, um, in the last video I showed you how you can install PHP my, ad uh, my admin, and um, before that I showed you how you can give it a static IP address on Ubuntu server 12.4. If, if you wanted to have a look at how we did that again, you can either watch the videos or look at our guides on here. The videos aren't included as well, so you don't need to go hunting around for them. Um, you can do that by going over to wilson18.com and then go into the how to section right at the top and then scrolling down you can see these videos here there, there will be a few more probably by the time this gets uploaded so you'd have to worry about keeping up to date um, and you'll see that there's guides there for desktop version and server version and there's also links to the videos and they will be included there's code snippets and everything else just make it a little bit easier so in this video I'll, I'll, it's just going to be a quick one just um, designed to show you how you can update your server if there are any updates available you can um, do that by starting the server and typing in one command and it's pretty much done it's, it's very simple but um, I will be showing you how you do this on a virtual machine just speed stuff up and make recording a little bit better so if you want you to start up your server and once it starts up you'll need to type in the administrative username and password and we can get started just wait for it to hurry up right there we are anyway so um, we type in our username type in our password and we can see the process has been used system load memory usage IP address and everything else you may want to see so to actually update the uh, the soft the server, what we need to type in is sudo, which is super user do, and runs it as administrator, and then type in apt hyphen get, so that's sudo apt get, and what that does is it's in that's what it, it's the package manager basically. Um, I'm not sure if that's what it technically does, but that's how I remember it anyway. So it's sudo apt get and then update that's pretty simple and you click enter type in your password and that will start comparing it with the packages on the server and update where necessary and as you can see it didn't take long to type that in it's simply one line of code and it's finished updating already it just helps keep your server up to date when you've got more packages and your server's doing a bit more it'll take a bit longer but the main thing is it to keep your server up to date if you do it then there might be things on the previous version that didn't particularly work very well and people have learned how to get past it and hack into it and it's just all part of protecting your users data so once you update the server you're done for this video and um, in the next video it'll either be about how to keep your server secure so I'll, I'll be going into a bit more about updates and why they're important as well as how you can handle PHP my admin so that not everyone can get onto it um, as well as that I'll also be telling you about a particular type of firewall that's brilliant uh, firewall that's brilliant and it stops people trying to hack your server um, I'm not going to say it will completely defend you, but it's a lot better than having nothing. And that's about it, really. Um, I will also be doing a couple more videos. One about installing SSH, so you can gain access to the uh, command line from a different computer. And it should be protected from the firewall we install in one of the next videos. And another video will be installed. Um, telling you about how you can actually host more than one website on this computer or on your server so you can go about installing like 20 different websites all on the same server saving you a bit of space and so yeah um <laughs> i'm not sure which one i'll do next but hopefully i should either get them all done by today or tomorrow if i do i'm very sorry i've got a lot of work to do but i'm just trying to make sure i get the videos sorted for you 
if you like the videos and please like and subscribe it just makes it a lot easier and it, it helps other people find them if they're useful if you didn't like them however make sure you comment below because if you didn't like them then other people will like them and I'd much rather get it sorted so that you actually like them because then you're more likely to come back so if there's anything you don't like if there's anything you want to know then please comment below it just makes it a hell of a lot easier for me and check out our website there's plenty of guys in there hopefully I must be able to help you at some point hopefully but um if not, hopefully I'll see you again soon, but hope you have a great day and goodbye.